quick message for my fellow Pisces spiritual warriors, old souls, who are living on this life path number nine, who have all the knowledge and information and intellect from all the other different zodiac signs, but at the same time they were also born at a specific kind of time and date, and with this whole cluster of remembering our soul calling within the divination of numerology you also have recognized you are living on a life path number nine and that's what we are here to do this year and beyond it's the journey of integrating more of our higher self within our lower self so we become more of an aligned and integrated being how has your year being and going so far and then of course the question where do you see the rest of the year going for you so this is more like let's start up this conversation as uh, we are not alone on this uh, on this uh, on this journey and um, I must say that everywhere I go if I seek counsel or consulting or coaching from other people who are on a similar path as well who I see like hey they have certain type of qualities that I want more of that because of course as a Pisces man of course I have perhaps a bit more of or I have been living more on this kind of like masculine journey of getting out there and using the intellect and using sense of power control in order to manifest things in this world and within this masculine archetype we sometimes are missing other divine qualities which are also very much needed right now which refers more to the divine feminine qualities and within my upcoming videos I will dive a little bit further uh, into that as well so that's why I sometimes I like to seek coaching and consulting and, um, and counseling from women who have more embraced their divine feminine energy because um, sometimes my intellect uh, goes a little bit more into my own way and what I see and what I must be focusing on is of course connect more with with the divine connecting more with the higher self and go through different stages of consciousness now which is great it's an amazing journey it's beautiful and it's it's fantastic but we live in different realities as well we live also here in this mundane physical reality where we must work earn income pay the bills and all of that so in my case i always feel like i want a level of intellectual control by doing the things that i already know which is part of the ego concept because the ego wants to you know grasp on things in order to survive it wants to project past experiences within the present moment with the expectations that becomes the future as well now part of us we must be raising ourselves above that so we don't repeat the same kind of bs belief systems and uh, break through from this generation of things we have been creating so far but then the question like how more we connect with the higher self and 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 the spiritual self and uh, and and all of these divine kind of uh, beings it can often really really feel sometimes like a little bit like ungrounded i'm not sure how you experience this and sometimes we wish we could be more practical we could be more consistent we could be more persistent and consistent within our daily flow of actions and creativity asking ourselves like if I'm here connected with my higher self when can I finally start to expect something in return or I'm going to like move away from all this things that I supposed to be doing and do things that actually can provide a higher level of security stability freedom independence for in a financial matter or I'm going to surrender myself to this divine calling and allow allow things to happen through synchronicity have a different kind of patience 
empathy, compassion to ourselves, to the process, to the journey. And accept the flow of abundance to flow through me. So this is kind of the question. I like to have a conversation about it. Maybe as a Pisces woman, you see things from a way that I must learn more about. And maybe as a Pisces man, you also say things like, you know what, yeah, I have always been on this masculine warrior kind of energy path of getting out there, manifesting. But now I am on this journey of connecting more with the higher self. And what I must learn is to let go of this control. So let me know what your thoughts are. Please leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, let's start up this conversation.